the modern day horse. Where did it come from? Millions of years ago, a kind of animal named Eohippus lived in North America. Eohippus was a small animal about the size of a fox. It had four soft toes on its feet, a stubby mane, and a wispy tail. Although the last Eohippus died over 50 million years ago, we know that it was related to the horse because of its skeleton and its resemblance to the skeleton of a modern day horse, especially in the way that its teeth are arranged. Not only was Eohippus related to the horse, it was the earliest known close relative of the horse. Staying alive was difficult for Eohippus. Many large, meat-eating animals enjoyed eating these small horses. Eohippus was not equipped with fangs, claws, or a hard shell. The only defense Eohippus had was the ability to outrun its enemies. Slow runners were caught and eaten. Fast runners escaped the teeth of the meat-eating animals that prowled North America. As centuries passed, the body of Eohippus changed because only the fastest runners lived to mate and have offspring. The body of the animal became larger and its feet became better suited for running. The outside toes on each foot got smaller and smaller. At the same time, the middle toes got larger and larger. Its feet were becoming more like hooves. The animal had changed so much that the scientists do not call it Eohippus. The scientists called this new animal Pliohippus. What is the name of the earliest known close relative of the horse? Where did Eohippus live? When did the last Eohippus die? How big was Eohippus? How do we know that Eohippus was related to a modern day horse? How did Eohippus defend itself? What happened to slow runners? Which Eohippus lived to have offspring? How did the feet of Eohippus change over the centuries? Why did the feet of Eohippus change? Thank you for watching this video on Eohippus. Bye bye.